Now let's combine the two and let's try to solve this. Please pause the video here and solve the question. Okay, now let's go through the answers. Calculating the total resistance of the circuit first. Firstly, we must resolve what we can resolve. And the combination that we can resolve first is the parallel part over here. So I want you to simplify this part into one single resistor. The way to do that is 1 over R, total R equals to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. So 1 over R will be equal to 1 over 3 plus 1 over 6. 1 over 3 plus 1 over 6 gives you 1 over 2, which is 0 0.5. So 1 over R gives you 0 0.5. R will be 1 divided by 0 0.5 is 2 ohms. So these two combined together gives you 2 ohms of resistance. Now, because you have this combined resistor of 2 ohms, and it is connected in series with this 2 ohm resistor. So now we can resolve the series part. R is equals to R1 plus R2. 2 plus 2 gives you a final total resistance of 4 ohms. Next one, calculating the amount of current through the 2 ohm resistor. The 2 ohm resistor is on the main line, which is the current coming out from the battery. And the current coming out from the battery is calculated by the potential difference across the battery divided by the total resistance. So the previously calculated total resistance is 4 ohms. So the current coming out of the battery will be equal to V over R, V over R, which is 4 over 4. So this would be 1 ampere. The current coming out through the 4 volt battery and going through the 2 ohm resistor is 1 ampere. Now, we need to calculate the current through the 3 ohm resistor and the 6 ohm resistor. Doing so is slightly complicated, but let's give it a try. So now we need to use the information that we have and put it on the graph in order to make our lives simpler. So now we already know that the current going through here is 1 ampere. Once we have this information, we now we know there's a current going through and there's a resistor. So if we put a voltmeter over here, what would we read? V equals to IR current times resistor. 1 times 2 will give you 2 volts. So there will be 2 volts of potential difference over this resistor. This means that the potential difference across this combination over here is equal to 4 minus 2, giving you 2 volts over this segment because potential difference will be split up in series segments. Now that we have found the potential difference across this part, we can now find the potential difference across each of them. Given the concept of the voltage being equal across all parallel components, the potential difference across the 3 ohm resistor will be 2 volts as well. So now we have the potential difference across the 3 ohm resistor, 2 volts and 3 ohms. So we can find the current going through. Current I equals to V over R equals, equals to 2 over 3 giving you 0 0.687 amperes. Now let's do the same with the 6 ohm resistor. Because of the same concept, if there is 2 volts of potential difference across this one, there should also be 2 volts of potential difference across this resistor, given that they are in parallel. So now we have the potential difference and the resistor. So we have I, the current going through is equal to V over R, which is 2 over 6 which will end up with 0 0.333 amperes. So this is cool too because we can see that current going through the first branch is 0 0.667 amperes. The current going through the second branch is 0 0.333 amperes. And 0 0.667 plus 0 0.333 gets you exactly 1 ampere, which is the current going through the main line.